Ryan, I'm so excited to talk to you today. Me too. Yes. Uh, let's dive right in. Season three of New Amsterdam is among us. Nam Fam is back. We are so excited. Um, Time to Heal is the title of season three, right? And it accurately depicts how we all, you know, feel that it's the time to heal. It's the time to move on. And it looks like um, just when the hospital is turning a new page from the pandemic, another disaster strikes. How do you describe season three of New Amsterdam? Season three is everything you just said in the sense that we have all been through the ringer, particularly particularly our frontline workers who've been trying to keep people safe and sacrificing so much to, to do that. Um, but it's taken a toll on all of us, the isolation, the quarantine, the knowing, getting sick, knowing someone who got sick, you know? Um, so I think we're beginning the season kind of off balance and trying to figure out what, what is the new normal and how do we get, you know, back to it and how do we come back from this very crazy, intense, overwhelming experience strong, Longer. Um, and um, yeah, but with but with a light on the horizon, you know, I think the story begins kind of just after the over the hump of the worst of it and um, saying, how do we how do we come back stronger after this? You know, the new normal, which is episode one, the season opener, finds the hospital staff dealing with the, effects, the devastating impact and effects of COVID-19. What was the most challenging part? for you filming during the pandemic? You know, I was worried that all the protocols and, and, um, and new practices would sort of hinder the, the filming because in an effort to, to remain safe, which is obviously the priority, we would, our ability to shoot and move around and do our thing would be hindered. But I was really surprised that, you know, all these new protocols and practices of wearing the mask, getting tested all the time, sort of distancing different zones and things um, actually brought a level of organization and efficiency to the shooting that was um, surprisingly helpful mm -hmm. and, and kept things streamlined and moving along. And, um, and so, yeah, so it's, 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 it's been very safe, thankfully. And, um, and it's it's been going well, be better better than I than I than I thought actually. Definitely. Ryan, we see Doctor Goodwin, your character, stepping up to help as he always does. Um, how would your character be challenged this season? You know, I think uh, this season his whole approach is challenged a little bit in the sense that you know, with this pandemic, there's no quick fix, there's no easy answer, and they they don't have enough supplies, they don't have the right drugs, they don't have enough beds, and you know, how can I help? How can I fix it? Isn't really going to cut it. And I think that um, he's realizing that there has to be a better way. So it's not even about him fixing the system or making it better, but it's about how do we build this back up again from the ground up in a, in a better way, you know, and looking for real fundamental change um, in our, in our health care system. And um yeah. And, and in his own life, you know, I think, uh, you know, he's left his daughter Luna with uh, George's parents, with, with her grandparents and, you know, in an effort to keep her safe. But I think now he's struggling with some guilt and wondering like, and just confusion, like, am I doing the right thing? Should I be with her? Am I being a bad father? Am I being a good father, keeping her safe? And so, you know, I think he's very much looking forward to rebuilding that relationship with her this year. Definitely. The Golden Globes premiered Sunday night to an audience of healthcare workers, which just speaks to the volume of the impact that healthcare workers have had, you know, on us during the pandemic and even before the pandemic. How would this season drive home the significance of how important the role of healthcare workers play in our lives, even as we go, you know, to a life post COVID? How would this season depict that? Yeah, I think, you know, I think we've always appreciated our, our healthcare workers, our doctors, our nurses, but I think that this time um, has really brought them front and center in terms of the necessary work that they do. And that when things get bad, as they got for, for a while, um, you know, uh, they're, they're heroes and they're... And they're on, and they're doing this work day in day out, um, 
at, at the cost of sleep, at the cost of seeing their family, at the cost of, uh, you know, per- plans to take that vacation or whatever it was, you know. Um, and so, yeah, I think, I think even moving forward in a, in a post sort of pandemic world, I think this was just an enormous reminder of the role they play in our, in our, in our world. Definitely. And Ryan, you had COVID-19 last year and, you know, you were able to heal, thankfully. Did that experience help you or inform the stories that we're going to see play out this season on New Amsterdam? Um, It didn't really inform the stories on the show. I mean, it certainly informed me and and my own experience of it and, and, um, and relationship to this pandemic and this virus and, uh, you know, it's, it's tough because it's like, I, part of me wants to be like, don't worry so much. You know, I, it, it was bad, but I, my life wasn't, there. it was okay. You know, because there was so much fear, but at the same time, you don't want to downplay the very real threat that it is. And that other people have had much more severe, uh, encounters with it. Mm-hmm. Um, but, um, but yeah, you know, it's certainly informative to, to have it and come up close and, and personal with it. And, um, and uh and see but uh yeah thank goodness everything was was okay thank god that you're okay well, i was praying and you know everybody pulled through thank god um okay. Ryan, why is a show like new amsterdam so timely and important for people to gather around and watch and educate themselves on not only just the healthcare system but healthcare workers and the things that go on both at work and behind the scenes. Why is this show so important for people to get behind and watch? You know, the, I think the show is really about when, when the show is at its best mm-hmm. for me, it's when, you know, Max is this really idealistic character who wants to change the world, change the hospital, make change healthcare, make people's lives better. And, and, and of course you can't change the system overnight. Um, you know, and so it's about taking these large concepts and shrinking them down to the individual and the personal and how, well, I can't, you know, fix the whole thing overnight, but I can make this person's day a little better, or I can make the right decision here, or I can create one policy that will have some lasting impact on folks. And I think we've been through a lot, you know, Um, we've been through a lot health wise, we've been through a lot politically we've been through a lot socially in in terms of how we relate to each other. And, and this show is really about, you know, um, how do we come together and how do we help each other? And, you know, it sounds kind of like Kumbaya or um, whatever, but if we ever needed a reminder that we need to help each other, it's been recently, you know, I mean, it's been this pandemic and everything that's been going on. So um, yeah, for me, there's a, that the, the, there's a real connection that the show can make to, to what's happening around us and, and, and reflect the ways in which we can listen to each other a little better and learn from each other and, 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 you know, be, be um, a little stronger going forward. And lastly, Ryan, before I let you go, what is your hope? You know, we see it on the show and as a, a season um, three premiere. You know, um, you guys are getting the vaccine and we see life post-COVID, which we're currently in. What is your hope as we go forward, you know, through the rest of 2021 and into 2022, where we enter a life post-COVID? What is your hope as we go, you know, beyond this pandemic and into the new normal, if you will? Yes. Uh, I have many hopes, you know, the, the, the biggest thing, there's a couple things. I mean, the one thing that I really, that really was hard to watch was people being afraid of people, mm. you know, and during the pandemic, people were so afraid of other people. And, and, and at the end of the day, connection is what we crave. And it was just, it's hard to watch people you know, get away. We're all barricaded and isolated in our homes. And so I'm looking forward to seeing people in a safe way, in a, you know, reconnect Mm -hmm. and communities, you know, coming back together, families, you know, people not being able to see their grandparents because they don't want to get them sick. I'm I'm looking forward to, to that reconnection most of all. And then selfishly, I want to go to the movie theater. I need to see a movie. All right. That's, (laughs) that's, that's really what I want. 
insane. I'm tired of streaming <laughs> online and watching at home. Ready for a movie theater. I miss, I need popcorn. I want the whole thing. <laughs> the whole shebang. Brian, congratulations yeah. on season three. Um, thank you for the work that you put out. Thank you for educating us. And you also are my fellow Leo brother. You're August 10th. I'm August 10th. Oh, yeah? Hey. Yes. Leos are the best. Leos the are best. the best. Thank you so much, Ryan. Congratulations. Such a pleasure to talk to you. See you soon. Where is the buzz you said was mine? Where is the buzz?